Hello and welcome to this video where we talk about local SEO. In this video, we talk about the Personal Trainer Perth project where I'm helping my personal trainer, Phil, to rank in Google search and get more customers for his business. So this is a little bit of an update of where we are right now. And also we will take together the next steps, such as building out schema markup that we can deploy on the website to really tell Google what our brand identity is and that will then help to rank in particular because our brand is the exact keyword that we want to rank for. Before we dive in, my name is Mark Muller and I run an SEO agency out of Perth in Western Australia. So if you need SEO consulting, feel free to take advantage of a free strategy session where we hop on a call and have a chat one on one. I will leave a link in the comments below. Otherwise, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Let's dive in. So since we last looked at this Google Maps listing, Phil has gotten a lot more reviews. So this is fantastic for the rankings that will really help us in the long term. And we can see here our Maps listing right now is only coming up when we type in Personal Trainer Perth and then his name Phil at the end. If we type this in without his name, we're actually not ranking. So the good news is we are starting to rank in Google Maps. We can see here on the 15th of August, a few days ago, the last scan happened and we improved significantly in terms of Maps rankings. So focus on this area here right now. We're doing pretty well um, here with a lot of number one to number three rankings for the keyword personal trainer Perth. And then one week before, we can see that we only were ranking directly around our business so here is our business registered near this area and we were only ranking here so that radius is expanding now which is good to see that this happened within a week's time and that this would have been mainly due to the reviews um, so you can take away from that if you get a bunch of new reviews um, this is how your maps listings are going to look like because we haven't done anything else in that time so reviews are definitely a really strong ranking factor and very good to focus on for you. Phil has also responded immediately to all reviews. That has also been shown in a few studies to have a big impact. So make sure you respond to reviews as quickly as possible. However, if we zoom in here on the website rankings, it's not looking very good. Um, we are fluctuating. Most of the time we're not ranking at all. And now for the exact keyword personal trainer Perth, we are coming in at rank number 90 but that's obviously not good enough and it's too slow, which is why we are going to do this. I want to call it brand activation or foundational branding strategy, where we're really going to try to teach Google, hey, this is our brand name. These are our social media properties. Um, we've got reviews on all of these other platforms as well, such as Trustpilot, Proven Expert and others. And this will really tie together the whole brand entity or brand presence for Google to understand that in a deeper way and give us rankings a lot quicker. Again, in particular, because our brand name is the main keyword, but the effect will be similar for you even if you don't have an exact match brand name. Because the better Google can understand your brand, the more trust you can develop with Google. So in the first video, we talked about these kind of things that we want to set up. So our website is here and we wanted, for example, Phil's brother to backlink to the website from his um, UK business. That would be a helpful Kickstarter backlink to get. Then we also want to build out our business directories. Those have been a little bit delayed. So that's why our maps re or our um, regular search rankings are slower than expected. So we need to get these online as soon as possible. And then we also need to make sure that our social media is all set up correctly. We already have a Facebook and an Instagram, but a LinkedIn page, I believe not yet. You can quickly check where Google has found your website by using the in-text operator. And then we go personal trainer Perth. And this is what it looks like in text and then your domain name after this. And we can see Google knows that we have been mentioned on all of these different sites. So that's pretty good. We already have mentions on Reddit. Um, on Instagram, obviously our own website and on Facebook. So there is starting to be a brand presence in existence that Google can recognize and um, put all the 
different pieces together and LinkedIn as well. So let's check out our LinkedIn real quick. Perfect. This is really cool that we have a LinkedIn. This looks to be a personal one. All right. And then it's connected to the brand as well, which is called Personal Trainer Perth. Let's have a look if this is indexed in Google search. For that, we can do the site operator. No, this, so this page is not yet indexed. I think it will be good to get a couple more followers here. Um, the more followers a LinkedIn business has, the quicker it will start to get indexed. And then we can also mark that up inside of our schema markup. So that will be the next step here that we're trying to pull together all of these different data points for Google um, to understand and to essentially rank us better once Google knows all about our business. Before we write the schema markup together, a quick word from our sponsor Cloudways for this video. Cloudways is a really good hosting platform if you have a WordPress website, if you're running an e-commerce store, or even if you use Laravel. With really cool features like the enterprise integration to Cloudflare, you can make sure that your website is super fast and you're also saving money by not paying the $20 per month that the Cloudflare Pro plans are usually at. The malware protection comes in super handy to know that if you have any security holes on your website. And today specifically, I want to talk about the email add-on. For any website, you can come here and add a Rackspace email address for $1 per, ma per mailbox per month. And you can then even use email forwarding to create those forwarders wherever you need them to go. So you, as always, you will find a 25% off link in the comments below to try your first three month of Cloudways at a discounted price. And the prices when you are setting up a new server are very reasonable as well. So let's name our server here. This is the process of how you can get started. And then I would recommend the hybrid stack and DigitalOcean as the provider. Basic should be fine for most WordPress websites. And then you would want to start somewhere around the one gigabyte or two gigabyte mark for $28 per month. And you get a whole server with that where you can select the locations of the hosting platform. So give Cloudways a try if you haven't yet. And now let's write some schema markup together. So we have the schema markup template here which I'm going to download as Markdown format. That's my favorite format these days of transferring um, data. And so you just click download Markdown here. And then you can do the same with a whole website as well. I've got an extension that I've built myself, which um, converts to Markdown. So you can say here, convert current tab, download Markdown. And you can then do the same for other important pages. I believe we have the FAQs are on this page as well, but the About Us page has some different data. So let's download the About Us page as well. And now we're ready to upload all of that into your favorite LLM, whether you're using ChatGPT, Claude, or anything else. Um, you simply upload the data and then you tell the LLM what to do. So we're uploading all of these files here. And now our prompt will be create local business schema markup based on template. Um, take, take data from the markdown files. Make sure to remove empty fields and list them separately later so I can find that data. So the idea is here that we don't want kind of hallucinations where if we don't have the data for a specific field, then the AI will make something up, right? That's what we want to avoid. That's why we're saying here that leave that other stuff empty. We would definitely need our Google Maps listing. So for example, our Google Maps categories and so on. Uh, we need to collect now, and I will now go and grab that Google Maps link. So we've got a pretty decent starting point here. We have local business schema, which is exactly what we want. 
we have additional types as Wikipedia references. They look correct as well. I will double check that these actually work, but um, this is looking good so far. Then we have the alternate name. We've got our brand name, disambiguating description. Uh, the location, also with a Wikidata reference, that's pretty good. Price range is correct, our um, same as business profiles. We can expand these ones later, once we have directories and our review platforms, we can add those as a same as. Email, phone, uh, knows about is great. Um, address is there. Let's see, the geo coordinates. They're looking pretty good as well. Uh, well, I should really double check these and see if they actually end up at that address to make sure there's no hallucination. Um, and then services offered. So the aggregate rating, that's something I would like to see if we can get that into here as well. So we have now updated the schema markup. And we also have a has maps listing. So we integrated our Google Maps listing. We've got geo coordinates. We're serving both Perth and the Juno Lab area. We've added our ABN, Australian business number, the founding date, currencies, um, number of employees. And now we're also about to add the certificates and the five star rating. So this is called aggregate rating in terms of schema markup. And once that has been done, we will check all of the uh, schema markup for accuracy using a service called um, Schema Validator. That should be under validator.schema.org. And we can then select the code snippet and we'll paste that in to make sure that everything validates correctly. And it does not. That allows me to show you how to troubleshoot this. So I would simply point an arrow here and then also point an arrow here and then provide that as an image to the AI to troubleshoot that. And it should be able to write the schema markup <laughs> in the correct way. Okay, so we have a fun challenge here. Um, the Claude AI has gone into complete meltdown mode where it's created 24 different versions of the markdown but still couldn't fix it. So we're going to try multiple different AI tools now. And we're going to give the same task to fix this markup and make sure it validates okay. So we will try ChatGPT against Claude Opus 4.1 against Google's Gemini 2.5. So GPT-5 thinking is still working on it. Claude, we started earlier, so that's done. Let's double check that in our validator. And yep, that validates okay. Let's make sure. Okay, awesome. We've got the founder here. That's pretty cool. Let's make sure our aggregate rating is also there. Perfect. Those are our review stars from Google Maps. That has been integrated correctly. So I would give that a pass. Claude 4.1 um, Opus has passed this test. Now let's see how Google Gemini does. Let's make sure we run a new test here. Yep, that looks good, that passes. And aggregate rating, also correct. Perfect, very good. So Google also passes. Now ChatGPT, how are you doing? Closed rendering, converted, swapped what ID for text ID, normalized phone. Okay, remove the broken has map. Let's see if it validates. Yep, that validates okay as well. Good stuff. So that's perfect. We now have our finished schema markup and we'll continue with our plan to deploy that schema markup, uh, build out more social media profiles and review platforms as well as the business directories and with that we should be in a good shape to start ranking really soon with that project all right this is it for now i will see you in the next one where i'll give you an update on what we managed to achieve thank you for watching